Are you planning to take an international flight for the first time and feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry, we've all been there. Let's break it down together, step by step, to ensure your journey is as smooth as possible. First things first, you'll need a passport. It's your golden ticket to the world, so apply for one well in advance. Next up, the visa. For some countries, you'll need one to enter, so start the process early. It involves filling out a few forms, attending an interview, and providing biometric data. Sometimes a medical checkup may also be required. Once you've got that sorted, it's time to book your ticket. Choose your flight carefully, considering factors like layovers, flight duration, and of course, cost. Remember, preparation is key for a smooth and stress-free travel experience. Now that you have your documents and ticket ready, it's time to pack your bags. The first thing to remember is your airline's hand luggage rules. These vary, but generally, you can bring a small suitcase and a personal item like a purse or laptop bag. Be mindful about the liquids, including cosmetics, as there are restrictions on their quantities. When it comes to what to pack, think about what you'll need for your journey and your destination. Clothes, toiletries, and any travel essentials should be packed securely. Don't forget a good book or your favorite playlist to keep you entertained during the flight. It's also a wise move to weigh your bags at home. Most airlines have a strict weight limit for checked luggage, usually around 23 kilograms for economy class. Weighing your bags at home can help you avoid any nasty surprises or extra fees at the airport. Packing smart will not only save you time and money, but also ensure a comfortable journey. You're all packed and ready to go. So what's next? The journey to the airport is your first step into the world of international travel. Choosing a reliable mode of transport is key. Whether it's a taxi, an Uber, or a generous friend, ensure they understand the importance of punctuality. Nothing starts a trip off on the wrong foot like a mad dash to the terminal. Speaking of terminals, it's crucial to know which one you're departing from. This information will be clearly marked on your ticket. It's a minor detail that can save you major headaches. Airports can be labyrinthine and rushing from one terminal to another is not an ideal warm-up for your flight. Remember, getting there is not the end goal, it's just the beginning. Arriving with time to spare allows you to navigate the check-in process with ease and start your journey on a high note. Getting to the airport on time and without stress marks the beginning of a successful journey. Welcome to the airport. Ready for the security and check-in process? This is where your journey really begins. First, you'll approach the security area where you and your luggage will be checked. This is a routine process for everyone's safety, so remember to remain calm and cooperative. You'll be asked to place all your belongings into a tray for scanning. This includes your shoes, wallet, glasses and phone, so it's a good idea to wear comfortable shoes that are easy to take on and off. Sometimes, security might ask you to open your bag. Don't panic if this happens. Just comply with their requests. And remember that they're just doing their job to ensure everyone's safety. Occasionally, they might ask about an item in your bag. Answer calmly and honestly. If you're asked whether you packed your bags yourself, always answer yes. Hesitation or a no could lead to a more thorough check. Once you've passed the security check, it's time for the check-in process. If you've done an online check-in, present your printed boarding pass. If not, the check-in clerk will need your passport and ticket. They'll check your details, print your boarding pass, and guide you to the luggage drop-off point. At the luggage drop-off, your checked luggage will be weighed and tagged. Remember, each bag should not exceed 23 kilograms in economy class. It's a good idea to weigh your bags at home to avoid any surprises. Once your bags are on their way, you won't see them again until you reach your destination. So make sure you've got all your essential items in your hand luggage. Remember, always cooperate with security and check-in staff to ensure a smooth process. They are there to help and guide you. Now, with security and check-in behind you, it's time to move on to the next step boarding the plane but we'll get to that in the next scene until then happy travels you've made it through security and check-in now 
it's time to board the plane. This is the moment where all the preparation and patience pays off and you're just one step away from taking to the skies. The first thing you need to do is locate the right gate. Your boarding pass will indicate the gate number. The airport signs will guide you in the right direction. Remember, airports can be quite large and time can slip away quickly, so it's essential not to delay. Once you arrive at your gate, you'll notice that boarding is usually done in a specific order. First, they'll call for passengers flying in first or business class. Then, families with young children or passengers requiring assistance are invited to board. Following this, they'll usually begin boarding the rest of the plane. This process can vary depending on the airline. Sometimes, boarding is done by rows, starting from the back of the plane to the front. Other times, it's done by groups or zones. This will be indicated on your boarding pass. Just listen for the announcements and you won't miss your turn. When your group or row is called, present your boarding pass and passport to the gate agent. It's a good idea to have the photo page of your passport open to speed up the process. Once you step onto the plane, you'll need to find your seat. The overhead compartments are labeled with row numbers, so just look for the one that matches the number on your boarding pass. The seat letters usually follow this format. A and F are window seats, B and E are middle seats, and C and D are aisle seats. After stowing your carry-on luggage in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you, take your seat and buckle up. The flight attendants will do a final check and then it's wheels up and you're on your way. With these tips, you'll be well prepared for your first international flight. Safe travels! Now that we've walked through the process, let's quickly recap what we've learned. First off, preparation is key. Apply for your passport and visa well in advance and don't forget to fill out those forms. Book your air ticket once you've secured these documents. In terms of packing, remember to consider the weight restrictions for hand luggage and be mindful of the limitations on carrying liquids. Comfortable, easy to remove shoes and fitting clothes can make security checks less of a hassle. When leaving for the airport, ensure all your travel documents are secure and easily accessible. A sling bag or a crossbody bag can be a great choice for this. At the airport, cooperate fully with the security and check-in staff. Pack your bags yourself and always answer yes when asked if you did. Finally, understanding the boarding process can ease any potential stress. Listen to the announcements, follow the directions and find your seat swiftly. By following these steps, you can ensure your first international flight is a smooth and enjoyable experience. Happy flying!